Hey guys, what is up? So it's Cat Loss here. Today I'm going to be doing 10 things that you can do to be less stressed during finals. Right now I'm a senior in college and I've been trying to keep calm by doing some things that are nice and stress relieving. So I decided to make this video because I want to chill out today and tomorrow. I just reorganized my room so I think I'm going to film a room tour before I go home for break and then post it a week from today. Definitely subscribe if you want to see that my room is really cute and if you can't tell the theme from all the things surrounding me it's pink and blue. Thing number one is to do a face mask. I have this face mask, I don't know if you can see it. It is the Freeman Feeling Beautiful Brightening Green Tea and Orange Blossom Peel Off Gel Mask. I love peel off masks. I think it's so satisfying when it just like all comes off like great. And voila, this is the final look. I forgot that I reschedule therapy for today so I need to go to that which is another self-care thing but you should be doing that year-round and not just when you're extra stressed although like when you're extra stressed you should I'm gonna link below the website to find good therapists in your area another thing that's really easy is just taking a short nap even just 20 minutes of laying down even if you don't fall asleep 20 minutes of just laying down and not being on your phone and not doing anything is really really helpful power napping is a life skill that all people should have I know a lot of people romanticize not sleeping around finals time which is just stupid like your brain doesn't work as well when you're tired another thing that I find really really helpful is journaling. I know that some people hate journaling. Whatever piece of paper you can find, I personally like writing physically better than typing even though typing is fine if that's what you're into but like give your eyes a break from a screen. I have a bunch of notebooks. I am a notebook hoarder. You'll see it in my room tour. What I do is I just sit down and start with writing I'm feeling and I just free write for whatever amount of time I have. Another thing that's nice to do is painting your nails. My nails are pretty gross right now if I haven't painted them in a few weeks. But yeah, painting your nails is a quick thing to do. I personally am pretty awful at it. It's just a little thing that feels like you're pampering yourself. Even if you end up hating it and taking it all off, the process of sitting down, putting on like a video or something and just like painting your nails is really, for me, really de-stressing and I feel like it is for a lot of people because it just, you can't do anything with your hands when your nails are dry. Another thing that some people don't love this but personally I do is baking. So I decided to make chocolate chip cookies with my friend. I like baking from scratch. It's just something that I find really calming and nice and it's fun to like dance around and listen to some music, hang out. Usually I bake with my housemate Izzy who I love to death and it's just like nice to hang out and make something that tastes really good but honestly you can just buy those like cheap cookies from the store that like look pretty or even like Toll House dough and like eat half the thing while it's still raw because like you're not supposed to eat raw cookie dough but it's so fucking good. My next thing which is just spending quality time with your friends. Like take an hour, go get a meal with someone, go FaceTime with your friend if you have like a long distance friendship. Like I have a bunch of friends that I don't see very often because they're back where I'm from, which is like five hours away from where I go to school. So you can FaceTime with them, just have like a quick back and forth via text if that's what you're feeling or like I'm making candles with my housemate Izzy tonight. And I'm really excited about that and that's gonna be like a nice another little crafty thing that I like to do. Actually I don't know if I like to do it, I haven't made candles before, but it's a pretty easy thing I hope. Another thing that is great, this is a pretty cliche one, but working out or doing yoga or doing something to move your body. I personally love yoga. In an ideal world I do yoga every other day. I like to do a little bit of meditation at the beginning of my practices personally because it really centers me on the mat and I usually meditate on a concept or something that's like either bothering me or that I've been thinking about just like little or words whatever I know there's a lot of good quotes online um, there's some great apps for it I used headspace when I was first getting into yoga and there's another one that I use that I can't remember but I'll link it in the description one that's super easy is just making yourself a cup of tea you can use a kettle or electric kettle Keurig if you're in college like just get hot water from that. You can even 
and microwave water. It's so easy and tea, you can buy it so cheap and there's so many different kinds. There's definitely gotta be at least one kind that you really like. You just feel so good when you have your nice little warm cup of tea, especially when it's freezing out like it is now. Another thing that's super quick and easy is just to listen to some nice upbeat music, depending on what you're trying to do. If I'm having a bad morning, I'll put on, I have this playlist that's like absolute bops. I, it's all like female empowerment music by women and I love listening to it and just like dancing around my room in the morning. That's my favorite thing. Put on some fun music. I'll link my playlist down below because honestly it's a really good playlist and I've been adding to it for years. And so I'll play that or on the flip side if you're really stressed to the point where you're like physically anxious which I've been there. I would definitely recommend listening to some really calming music. Just stuff that's like chilled out and just kind of happy and calm. Um, I'll also link my yoga playlist which is I make a new one every year but this one is my 2018 one which it's almost over but yeah I'll link my playlist down below it's just nice slow music that's just you know another thing that is super cliche is taking a bath if you live in a dorm and taking a bath is impossible then I would definitely recommend trying to get like shower melts or making shower melts it's basically just baking soda and essential oils and you can find it on Pinterest I'll link below the one that I use if you have access to taking a bath baths are so nice I don't know being in water just makes people feel good feel safe so when I take a bath I I'm really OD and just turn off the lights and just chill out. I have a little bonus one. Just reading in general for me, it really relaxes me. So obviously I'm an English major, so I love reading. But I feel like everyone likes reading something, whether it's like a magazine, a cookbook, um, whatever your hobby is, there's something that you can read about it. And I think that's a great thing and you should do that. All right, so that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope that you liked it. My upload schedule is on Wednesdays I do a vlog and on Sundays I do a more sit down -y video like this. So if you liked this video, you should check out the ones that I've already posted. I just started posting a few weeks ago so I don't have too many up, but you should definitely watch my other videos. I'm considering doing like a video of all the DIY stuff that I like to make, like shower melts, bath bombs, candles, stuff like that. So comment below if you want to see that. You should definitely subscribe and turn on notifications because like I said, I'm gonna upload twice a week, but I don't know what time of the day I'll be uploading. And also then you can see what my videos are. Thanks for watching. Bye.